What am I making? What am I doing? What am I even We're saying? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my kitchen, Midnight Munchies and More. Hey you guys, and welcome to my kitchen, Midnight Munchies and More. I am your host, Sharice, and today we're gonna make an easy vegan ricotta because I'm craving some motherfucking lasagna, and y'all know that shit ain't vegan. So we're gonna make a super easy, quick vegan ricotta, and it's gonna be so super delicious. Maybe I already made it and tasted it, so you know it's good. Let's get started. We're gonna pull out our handy dandy food processor. I just use a Ninja, so you know, you can use a blender. And we're gonna start with half a cup of cashews. I soaked these for like maybe an hour, like you don't have to do it for too long. But we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna blitz these up first. To our cashews, we're going to add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna do one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. Now look, I got a roasted garlic powder, which I didn't know existed, and it is everything. So I recommend that, but if you don't have that, you can certainly just use regular garlic powder. It's totally fine. And then we're gonna do, let's see, half a teaspoon of basil and two teaspoons of oregano. We're also gonna put the, that in there. And then we're gonna do one tablespoon of your favorite non-dairy milk. Because we're doing cashews, I'm totally gonna do the cashew milk, but you know, to each their own. And then just blitz this up. And as per usual, make sure you wipe down your sides and then blitz a little bit more. To our cashew spice mixture, we're going to add a block of firm tofu now here's what you need to do you need to drain it out and then you need to press it if you're not fancy and you don't have a tofu press like me because i never eat tofu because it's weird but <laughs> you're gonna put, you're gonna put paper towels on the bottom you're gonna put your block put paper towels on top and then weight it down so since i obviously use my spaghetti sauce because that's what we put in our lasagna so we're just gonna kind of break it up and put it in here because you guys, we don't need this to be super smooth because it's ricotta and like normal ricotta is not smooth, right? Like it's all like grainy and stuff. So this actually works perfectly for this. So when we pulse this, we're not gonna pulse it all the way. Look, my, my ninja is not gonna get it completely smooth anyways, but if you have like a Vitamix or like some super mega awesome blender, don't do it till it's completely smooth. You guys. Look at this motherfucking ricotta right now. Like, <laughs> vegan ricotta to the max. I just wanted to show you, like, as I'm putting it in the bowl, because it's very ricotta-y textured. <laughs> and this, so if you were making, like, regular ricotta, you obviously don't have to do, like, all the basil and oregano. I would still 100% do the garlic because it gives it a lot of flavor. But as y'all know, I like my lasagna. So we're gonna put this in our lasagna, which is why I added those Italian flavors. You guys, look at this vegan ricotta right now. Like, tell me that don't look like ricotta, girl. All right, so we're gonna try it, but I'm just gonna do a little bit because who just eats ricotta like straight up anyways? That's weird. Mmm, I actually really like that flavor. It's definitely got that texture of that ricotta, that like grainy, oh, mmm. We gonna put this in our lasagna, bitch. If you want the full written recipe, as per usual, will be linked in my description below, midnightmunchiesandmore.com. And make sure you like and subscribe, you guys. If you make any of my recipes, interact with me on social media. I wanna see how it worked out for you. I wanna see your pictures. And I put out videos twice a week, so I'll catch you next time.